So Charity was saying something was smelling, and we thought that we might have forgotten to put one of the um, deodorizers in the toilet. So I go walk into the bathroom, and I found the most healthy, healthy pile of crap in the toilet. <laughs> not not flush. Crap. Just sitting there. It's the joys of RV life. Whether you're a new RVer or a seasoned RVer, this could be the most important video that you watch on RV living because we are gonna talk about the crap that can happen while you're out there on the road and more importantly, how to avoid that from happening, so stay tuned. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. In this video, we are gonna give you 10 tips that have to do with your RV toilet, with your black tank, basically anything that has to do with poo. So these are things that we have learned over the years, some things we've picked up from other RVers along the way, but this is going to help you avoid any potential mishaps. So tip number one, when you're hooked up to full hookups at a campground, you always want to leave your black tank closed and your gray tank open. And the reason why you want to leave the black tank closed is because you want to make sure you it's liquefied in there. And in, in a minute, I'm going to tell you how and why we do the black tank flush, but Basically, you want to you want to have liquids in the black tank, kind of sloshing around in there, so you don't have solids build up and create what is called a pyramid of poo. <laughs> that sure didn't work. That is a bad thing. Keep the black tank closed and the gray tank open. Typically, if we know we're going to leave the next day. We will come out and close the gray tank as well, so it'll fill up a little bit. When we're ready to go, I open up the black tank first, let it all go out until it's completely empty. Then I'll open up the gray tank to rinse out the hose so it's nice and clean before you disconnect it. I'll flush a lot. So tip number two, for number two <laughs> is to upgrade your RV toilet to an elongated toilet. Now, we recently had this toilet, which is a Dometic elongated bowl installed. It's a ceramic base. It basically feels more like a household toilet versus the plastic toilets that a lot of RVs come with. Now, when we first bought this RV, we had another Dometic toilet called a Sealand. We had some problems with the seal on that. We ended up with a Thetford toilet that was the most uncomfortable toilet ever. It was all made of plastic. It was super hard to keep clean. It just was a nightmare. So upgrading to this Dometic from e-trailer, and I will just give a little plug for e-trailer right here because when you order things like this from them, they have a ton of support. They're super helpful to call on the phone, give them your RV information, then they'll make sure you get the right part the first time which is super important. But upgrading to a toilet like this can save you a lot of headache. Now tip number three is before you do the duty, <laughs> make sure that you fill the toilet bowl about halfway with water. Now, most toilets have some sort of feature where you maybe depress the pedal about halfway and this fills the bowl. The second thing that you want to do to avoid what we might would call skid marks or the poo trail is to actually take a couple of strips of toilet paper and lay them out in the bowl before you do the duty. And this will help to avoid those skid marks and just help keep your toilet clean. Mm -hmm. 
Number four, use quality chemicals in your black tank. Now, this is gonna really help with any of those smells and things like that. What we have actually learned is that you want to use chemicals that are formaldehyde free and do not kill the bacteria. Having a healthy colony of bacteria in your black tank is actually what helps to keep those smells away. So when you use things like bleach to clean your toilet, that's actually killing the bacteria that's in your black tank and it actually can make those smells worse. So this is the perfect time to thank the sponsor of today's video, Unique Camping and Marine, because they have a whole lineup of products that we personally now use in our RV with toilet cleaner that does not contain any bacteria killing enzymes and it keeps your toilet clean and keeps those smells away. So now when we clean our toilet, we use the unique cleaner. We follow that up with a drop-in pod and we have not had any problems with black tank smells since. It's also completely safe for septic systems. So when we are at our home base and we do dump our black tank into our septic system at our home base, we know that all of those chemicals that are in the black tank from Unique are completely safe for the home septic system as well as the RV septic system. So tip number five is a tip that's going to help you keep your black tank clean. And that is before a travel day, take a bag of ice and dump it down into the toilet. Now, what this is going to do is as you travel and as there's movement in the RV, that ice is gonna actually help rub up against those black tank walls, scrape off any yuck that's there. And then of course, as it melts down and you go to dump your black tank at your next stop, all of that ick comes out with the liquids and it helps to keep the inside of your black tank clean. Now you'll have to let me know so far what you're thinking of these tips. Are they something that you've heard of yet or not? Let us know in the comments below. But I did want to let you know that we have our most important tip yet to come. So make sure that you stay tuned and keep watching to the end. Number six is you wanna make sure that you use the black tank flush every time you break camp or after you dump. Let it rip. Turn it off! So this is a really handy feature that's built into most RVs. You want to have a separate hose hooked up to it than your fresh water, but I'll hook up the hose, then I will close the black tank turn on the water, let it kind of fill up a little bit, then turn off the water, open up the black tank, kind of let it flush out. And you may want to repeat that once or twice. So tip number seven is after you have dumped out that black tank and it's empty, you wanna make sure that you add a little bit of water back into the tank. This is gonna help you avoid any pyramids of poo or just any solids from building up inside of the tank. It's also gonna help with any chemicals that you add to help make sure that those dissolve and that those break down. So you can do this a couple of ways. You can do this by adding water through the black tank flush or just hold down the pedal, fill the toilet bowl up with water and let all of that go into the black tank. Tip number eight, this is gonna help you avoid any clogging in your black tank. And this is super important. And that is to use RV specific, marine specific, or septic safe toilet paper. Now, there's a little trick you can do, kind of an at-home test to see if the particular toilet paper that you're using or want to use is safe for your RV septic system. That is to take a jar of water that has 
a lid on it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put a couple of squares of your RV toilet paper in the jar of water, put the lid on it, make sure this is tight. And then you're gonna shake this up and then you're gonna leave this sit for about an hour. And what you wanna do is make sure that even though this is broken down, you wanna see that it dissolves a little bit more than what this is currently. While this is in small pieces, we want to see that there's been more of a dissolving action here. So we're gonna check this in an hour and make sure that our toilet paper that we're using breaks down the way we want it to. Tip number nine. Now, this is really one of those tips that's just going to help make your family members, those that are RVing with you, just feel a little bit more comfortable when things are happening in the bathroom. And that is using the poo-pourri spray. Now, the poo-pourri spray is something that a lot of people use in their households. It traps the odor under the water before you go. But one thing a lot of people don't realize is that it is made with natural ingredients and it's safe for use in RVs. So we'll leave a link in the description below for the poopery on Amazon, which is where we get ours. But using that spray just helps when you only have one bathroom and multiple family members using the same bathroom makes you where you're not quite the bad guy all the time. So our little experiment is now complete. Now, this is what our RV toilet paper looks like now after sitting in this jar. You can see it definitely has broken down. It's not completely dissolved, but it is way broken down. It's gonna be suspended in any liquid to come out of our black tank. However, we also decided to run the same experiment with household toilet paper. This is quite the difference. And this is why it is so important that you use a rapid dissolve RV specific toilet paper to avoid clogging that black tank. Tip number 10. Now, this is the most important tip that you need to know for RV life and just RV living in general when it comes to anything bathroom related. And because this is so super important, I'm going to take just an extra minute to walk you through this process step by step. And this is where you might want to share this video with somebody that you know really needs to be able to see this information and understand this process. So when this happens, for some reason, so many people think this is the answer. This is the incorrect way to do this, okay? This is not the right way. So this is where this comes in very important. Now this is actually spring-loaded, yes. Inside of this, there's a spring. And so how this works is you can push this down for easy removal of this. You saw how it came right off. So once I've removed this, this spring-loaded bar I'm going to put inside of this and then just gently push this down as I let it go into the hole on the other side. Now this is the proper way to deal with that problem. We know that this tip is probably going to save a lot of marriages, relationships, so please, please, Share this information with those that you know need this vital, vital tip when it comes to RV living and bathroom usage. So in this video, we are going to give you, ah! <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Is it gonna go the way you think it's gonna go? Uh told you this. That's why I said that was too much. Fill it up with water. Crap. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time. Don't do it this way, guys. 
You're like, keep going, keep going. I'm like, this is a really bad idea. Well. This is a really you know, bad it's idea. Like, it's a guy thing. It's like, more, more, more. Here, now we just need to do this. No. There. Okay. That's too frozen. Because this isn't really how you should be doing it. <laughs> this is general clogging. Yeah, this is sturdy. Yeah, okay, hold on. Tip number eight. Hold on. Let me just get this to work. Yeah. Tip number eight. Tip number eight. <laughs> what tip? Okay. okay. Tip, tip eight. <sighs> tip, tip no number eight. Did you want to go to lunch later? Yes. <laughs> we need to move forward. Tip number eight. This is going to help you this avoid. This is real. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, you need to probably shave those or cut those. Sorry. I mean, shave it? Sh not shave it, but you had like a little. You want me to shave my head? A super happy hair hanging out there. Oh my You're gosh. Better. <laughs> it's safe for your RV septic system. <laughs> this jar of water just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Boop. Dirty's either doing the dishes or. Whatever. Is she do I mean, she's the one doing the dishes all the time. <laughs> I'm definitely not. I mean, and then laundry. She's doing the laundry too. But, so, where was I going with that? Oh. <laughs> in a deep, dark hole. That's yeah, where you're right. going with that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to let us know in the comments below any tips or tricks that you have when it comes to using your RV toilet and keeping that black tank in the right state of things. <laughs> We'll put a playlist of more videos about RV living tips and tricks right up here. And we'll also put a video right up here that we think you just might like. If you'd like to follow us on Instagram, we have a ton of short videos called Reels and you can do that right here. And then you can also subscribe right over here. Please subscribe. If we don't see you on the road or at the campground, we'll, we'll see, see you in the, the next video. video.